Hey, where's your husband? That's my, my brother. Okay. And my, my husband's at home in Charlotte. Oh, wonderful. My husband's a state uh, senator. Do you live in Charlotte, too? Yes. That's all right, close enough. I still want to get your take on what's oh, going on there. Boy, is this funny. Now, what you should have had in the background is a Muslim walking past. Yeah, right? yeah. And not getting... I actually had a guy wear this T-shirt through the TSA checkout line. He sent me a picture of him doing it. In line? Yeah. I haven't seen Bob since. I hope he's okay now. <laughs> so, do you live in Charlotte proper? I, you know, I've been through Charlotte. I've spent a couple of days there. It's a nice community. What's happening? <laughs> Yeah. Well, we've got a ultra liberal mayor and city council. Yeah. They're um, wanting attention, bringing attention to the city, even though I think um, the president could have done something in the very beginning, the first day that all the riots happened. Well, here's what I don't get. This is what's, you know, there's a black cop that shot a black man with a gun. It went from black, white to blue, white because of this. Yes. Yeah. How did? Yeah, they changed their I mean, agenda. You know, well, the white guys is the, the problem, yeah. right? Well, they said over half of the people who have, who have been um, approached and or arrested come from South Carolina but or other areas. The police chief today said 70 percent. Yeah, over half. So this looks like another George Soros funded. No, of course. It is. You think that? It is. It is also another excuse for those who are the biggest problem in society to come loot and steal. Anarchists. And, uh, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Divide and conquer, create, create the, yeah. stir up the pot, right. call martial law, right. suspend the elections. Right. Right. Steal the TV, steal the this yeah. and that. Distract from the political race. Yeah, no, we, we stay tuned. I mean, I do because it's, um, it's your life. What? It dictates your life. So. Shame on you for not trying to be informed on your own, to be an independent thinker, because the liberal media, which 95% of them are liberals, will spoon feed you untruths. I can't believe that her husband will let her run around. Well, did you tell him he's a senator? No. Who's the senator? My husband. What's his name? Bob Rucho from Mecklenburg County. He's a state senator. State senator. State senator. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I can tell you all a lot about the state. Oh, well, 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 please do. Yeah. The state went from, um, what was it? Um, 140 years of Democrat rule. The legislature was Democrat for 140 years. This is the first time in 144 years we've had a Republican legislature and a Republican governor. And then they're doing what well, they want to do, like reforms. And, 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 this, and, this, and how long has your husband been in office? Uh, well, he sat in the back seat for many years. Uh, 17 years as a state senator and a couple of years in uh, local. Uh, but he's only been in the majority, they've only been in the majority for five years, six years, excuse me. So I will tell you, which is you won't hear in the media, financially we owed um, the federal government $2.8 billion for unemployment insurance because we had so many people unemployed. We went from 9.68 or 9 point something down to 4 point something. It was over 10. It was over, it was slightly went over 10 and now it's 4.6. Four and a half years. Really? Since we've got and a we, governor and legislature. Yeah. We dropped um, faster than any other state that it was, that was at that level of unemployment. We also um, did reform, tax reform. We cut the personal income tax, corporate and business. We went from being the highest in the southeast, in the southeast yeah. to down the second lowest. They've created. Florida doesn't have parks. Five, how many? Like 400 and something thousand, 400 and something thousand new jobs. You don't hear about this. Great. Uh, all, you want, all they want you to know about is house bills, too. So in, cut, so in cutting tax that much from seven and a quarter to what, five and a quarter? Yeah, it's going out, it's going out to 5.35. 5.35.
they paid back the $2 billion deficit. They funded back the rainy day fund, which had no money, it was raided. They funded back DOT, which had no money, it was raided. Because the Democrats were in control, kept trying to find pockets of money to spend. Besides being and $2 billion in debt to the federal government for an unemployment, really $2 billion in debt on a deficit, right. the budget deficit. The budget. So we were almost $5 billion, and in five years, completely wiped out the debt, paid the debt back. And we have a surplus every year. So much. How much is the surplus? Like it's 400 million surplus. 400 million, and reduced taxes, and created jobs. So can be there. Yes. Takes to being brave even the governor, right there. even the governor of North Carolina, Pat McCory, told my husband because Bob, my husband, was finance chair for uh, state Senate. He actually is the architect that rewrote the tax reform. Oh, should be proud. I am, but he told the governor. The governor, we had a fundraiser for Pat, and he said, um, "I want to recognize one person here tonight." that I never gave him credit because I didn't think it would be done. And that he lowered the taxes, has paid off the debt, and we have a surplus which has hardly ever been done before. Harder to meet you. Really, wonderful. I took his card too. Look at this card. It's a get out of jail free. It's cold. Yeah. yeah, let me give it give me a couple. Bring back to your husband too. This is so good. I am so glad that you're Thank here. You. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I call it having fun with tyranny. Yeah. <laughs> I got more disrespect on the other side. You know, well, but thank you though for what you're doing because it does take um, courage to just stand up against opposition, and um, the opposition wants us to be tolerant, but they're not tolerant us. Yeah. Well, I look at it this way. I'm a you know, the streets, if you don't control the streets, you don't control anything. Right. That's right. Because they really don't have a leg to stand on, honestly. If you look at all the issues, there is nothing there that will support their policy. Yeah. So how did all this deception and lies get to be controlled? Um, how did all these people that are complete psychopaths, sociopaths, and out of their minds... Because they can't win on what their issues are, so they to make it look like we're doing what something. What the good do? people of this country could go to sleep for 30 years because it took that long? Well, finally, I was I was at, believe it or not, a little town called Southport, North Carolina, on the, on, the, Atlantic on the Atlantic Beach. I walked into a Walmart because I forgot a plug or uh, electronic thing, and it was the greeter, Walmart greeter, elderly man. Oh, okay. I said, hey, how you doing? That's good. He goes, I'm doing great. He goes, tell me where you got that stick, that, bump, uh, that uh, button. And it said, uh, defeat Hillary. And it had, you know, like the blockbuster with the red circle and thing. I said, well, I said, everyone wants my, my pen. I said, and uh, I don't think you can get it unless you go online. He goes, well, I'm going to find me one, he said, because it's the first time in 30 years I'm voting. But I'm voting for my son, my children, I'm sorry, and grandchildren. I used to say it's sons because I get two boys. I took that pen off and I pinned it on him. I said, thank you. I said, and get more people to go vote. Get my pen. I just say, we're doing it. Let me, do you see an awakening within the public? I mean, do you see it? Yes. I do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think finally that their, their deceptiveness is falling apart. Yeah, you know, it's, their like, world, their it's like the curtain has been opened, yeah. like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Exactly. And we can see what's going on behind the scenes that we were meant not to see. What do you attribute that to? The internet? Or social media? I think everything, media? everything has played a part in yeah. that. Yeah, the, the fact that they're starting to unquote themselves and, you know. I think he's had a lot to do with, oh, yeah. with yeah. the way that he came from nowhere and yeah. then you saw the establishment show right. their true face. Exactly. And then you've seen the globalists show their true face. That they don't want someone like this. That's the whole agenda, I believe. This worldwide socialism. That's what they want. They, this is the last bastion to overtake. Once we're taken care of and once we're brought to everybody else's level, then it's mission accomplished. Then you can start implementing world government, world currency. Does your brother feel like you feel? Like your, oh, husband, your husband, is he? Oh, my husband? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he believes a lot of what I have to say. Good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My husband. More, is this election cycle is open as all. Well. Chris, I mean, a lot of times I see 
politicians, the ones that are directly in the mix, so compartmentalized, so focused on different things that they're putting on their plate in My front of them, that the they, economy. you know, they miss the larger picture and see what's going on. So yeah. you're, you're saying, well, I'm glad to see you having Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's more of us. Good. I mean, some people are afraid to talk about it. But yes. But as long as you're aware, then we know how to maneuver. I mean, yeah. I'm out here being very vocal. Of course, if I was smart, I'd be stealth and probably have some honey hole someplace I'd be, you know, yeah. broadcasting from, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not that smart, so I'm out here on the street too. You're <laughs> getting yeah. a lot of people. This is the oh, yeah. I, the, it is this one of the, I didn't know what to do when, you know, I just prayed and said, well, right, what are my talents? Right. I said, all right, nobody's doing this. It's got to be crazy. I'll be down. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, and he got you in the right oh. way because you need people to stand up. Great. A lot of people don't want to open their mouth, like Billy said. They don't want to get involved. They want to get in an argument. They don't want to talk about it. And a lot of times, they don't know enough to talk about yeah. the issues. So that's why I like keeping we, a computer back here too, because you know, it's like everybody's an Einstein with the search engine now. Right. You know, there's no excuse for it. There you go. I like that you do that. Let's go. Let's Google it. Yes. Yeah. Check it. Look check it, it out. Yeah. But. Anyway, thank you again. And, oh, no, thank you. Yeah. I, 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 you've made my day being able to yeah. hear this. Just know that, well, you know, really, that take we've, my got, picture with Donald. we've got people out there, you know, that, that are in there. We've got their heads screwed up. We have a lot in, in North Carolina. I mean, it's going to be an interesting election. Because we're a swing, we're a swing state, but Donald's up in our state, but they're fighting That's what hard. I read this morning. It was up like two points. Want to get in? Oh, no. Oh, this oh. is what I should do. Look, Billy, give me kissing up. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. All right, quit. Yeah, I'll let my husband see that. But you know, my girlfriends from uh, high school and um, whatever, they're all conservative. So I'm hoping that. Um, Louisiana stays. I'm just praying we get to see an election. I can see some a lot, you know, they feel you, they're so ruthless. They're so, so, I mean, you can't put anything past them. Right, they'll do anything. I mean, if win. Hillary's too sick to go on, I can see them replacing her with Michelle Obama. This is scary. Thing. Yes. Uh, I mean, continued riots, tribe, yeah. Yeah. Paul Marshall law. I mean, there's big things. And so that, that would just upgrade. Brady gets in, and hopefully, you know, you can watch a six. When Barack Obama, he wanted to transform, he wanted to fundamentally transform, transform the United States, transform America. So many people did not realize that. You're aware of what's going on then. Did you hear the speech he gave to the UN the other day? Yeah, he's such I did. a oh, he's such a deal. God. He's a I mean, he's just openly saying that. I mean, he said this. this I get as close as to it as I'm paraphrasing, but it's like very Orwellian that we have to give up some liberties uh, yep, for security. Yep, yeah. We're gonna have. To. No, we're not. Freedom he's talking rights. about the uh, Second Amendment. Yeah. And then we've got the vote coming up. On the first, if you're going to hand over the internet to the UN. UN, yeah, that's another. That's thing. a big. That's, that's something your husband ought to jump on. What is that? They're, we're going to hand over the control, control, of, the control of the internet to the UN on the first of the next month. For what reason? Because they think of the, um, the the voting is being. For the same reason when your your brother brought up yeah. continue or the forming of the one world government. Yes, that's what it's all about. This plane is dead. Why do I mean, we need the UN? This is when I, you know, right here, America, deep state. This is what, you know, the, the people that never leave. Well, you know what? They can't pass. That certainly can't so you pass. Never, never say never. Oh, my yeah. God. That's never just so never. bizarre. Yeah. They, they've, doing well, it. they've been doing it. They're already in control. I mean, we're just trying to wrestle it back from them. That's what your husband is pointing out part of, yeah. what you're a part and of, what I'm a part of. I'll tell you this, though. Half of the country we know, or more, because I think the people who are undecided want to vote for him, but not going to tell posters that no. call. Indeed. If they, if, if Congress lets them, they're going to lose their job too. Oh, no, I've talked to people that have never voted in their lives, 50 years old, 50, in the mid 50s.
never voted before in their lives register to vote for the first time so that man. Yeah. So those people aren't even being counted because they're off the register. You're exactly right. Just like this man at Walmart. Right? Yeah. yeah just yeah. look at the at the campaign stops and speeches that he has, yeah. the mass poll that he has that attends these things. Yeah. And then look at what Hillary's doing. Yeah, she Not, did maybe three hundred people. Yeah. They had to call half of that stand. They had to get them. They, there was something on Craigslist that somebody said. Yeah, that they, was, they hired them. Hired them come in. It's crazy. did you see the other side? I got more disrespectful. Yeah. Emergency bunker. It was a fortress, probably the most secure building outside of the Pentagon. And then why the media didn't? Because they're they're like this. They're interwoven. To yeah. The media is there. They is their propaganda. Lie. Well, I know that. So now I didn't know that it wasn't it wasn't damaged by. No, wasn't you, there's by a video by? and you can see it yeah. come down. Pancake, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show you. It's right here. Mold. Educate. So what brought that building down? This is the same crooks that we've been fighting now, and the same ones that are trying to take over the government that your brother's talking yeah. about. This is a formulation to, to, I mean, when you look at this, you ask, well, who benefited from 9-11? Any crime, you look at who benefited. Right. Well, who benefited? Was it us? Was it the Muslims? Yeah. The National security sure. state and military industrial complex. The world government has gained. Power. Yeah, yeah. Now they had the motive, the means, and opportunity. So it wasn't 19 hijackers that brought down these buildings. It was someone else. I agree. I agree. I saw that. I've seen a video about that, and I full heartedly agree that. You'd love him working for you. I mean, he'd, oh, he he could take I, stuff I, also about Bigfoot and the and UFOs and yeah, everything else. Yeah, well, you you got a smart brother. I do. You have a smart I brother. Do. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm just so again I'm happy because you got now you can go home on your influence and your brother. I'm so glad to hear that, and he's in a position to actually affect me, which is to me gives me a lot. Of, yeah. Now, he's the type of man, um, I think Steve Forbes wrote an article about him because he was fighting with the governor to reduce taxes for his, he, reform, he rewrote the tax laws in North Carolina. He went from industry base, which was really, um, okay. it, was, it, was, it was back when uh, uh, tobacco well, we manufacturing, and manufacturing, yeah. textiles, textiles and tobacco and, and farming. It's more of a consumer. Consumer base, where now you get taxed on the things that you use. And you're not mandatory, it's not mandatory tax, you know, if you can't afford a simple tax, then you just don't do that thing for that month. It's just uh, like they do in Texas. It's a win-win, win-win kind of tax yeah. system, and the yeah. governor fought him on it. And um, Forbes wrote a, an article, you may even look at it, Bob Rucho. Uh, I will. Oh, I will. Steve look, Forbes. You know, believe me, uh, Steve, when I do my, you know, do my little see. video on this, I want to give a little background. So He said that it's rare that a politician puts principle before personal gain. Thank you so much. Yeah, he's a good man. He's, 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 he's the business. That he's, uh, he worries about the economy. Ah, I wish I could vote for him. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. You know what? Too bad because we need good men. To yes, stay right. Here. I said, honey, I said, you got to stick in there, but they're going to make him one of the governors for the university system to try to clean that. Uh, well, I don't think it, it, when you run into men of your of his stature, it's, they never really retire, they just move to another, another venue. Yeah. So, you know, he's going he, to look for new people sure. to get into politics. Yeah. yeah. Good. Business people that are conservative business people. Anyway, Concerned about Michael, people. you're such a. Fresh air. Oh, God bless. Yep. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. Oh, God bless you. Take care. I'm not going in there. Okay, we're ready to stay. She's hot. And she's hot. Oh, I don't blame her. Do I have you to blame for all of this? Yes. Do I have you to blame for God? Yes. Let you. Yes. Let me get, come here. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> Thank you. You said you raised two wonderful people. Like that. That's true. Man, you're too bad. Take care.